Hi everyone, today we would like to discuss with you the common food hazard that we encounter in the food industry, which may ruin your company reputations. Sounds scary, right? So I would like to take this opportunity to share with you how to prevent that. So let's begin. There are three common types of hazards, which are biological, chemical and physical. What is biological hazard? Biological hazard is those common pathogenic bacteria that carry bad food, such as E. coli, Staphylococcus, Bacillus cereus, and etc. Have you ever wondered what caused these bacterial contaminations? It could be due to contaminated raw or packaging materials, poor personal hygiene, inadequate cooking or reheating temperature, improper storage temperature, improper cleaning and sanitations, cross contaminations, or even past use by time. And how do we prevent this? We can prevent this by implementing good manufacturing practices, also known as GMP. Ensure using appropriate ingredients and supply specifications. Identify the types and source of microbiological hazard, as well as identify a critical control point. Not to forget that to train your employees in good hygiene practices. The building designs and equipment designs are equally important. And why do I say so? Maintaining a unilateral flow is able to help you to minimize the risk of microbiological contaminations. While equipment designs with smooth surface and made of appropriate materials can help in effective cleaning. And lastly, we need to ensure the stock is arranged in first in, first out manner. Let's move to the second type of hazard, which is chemical hazard. It could be naturally occur, for example, allergens like gluten weeds, peanuts, soya, nuts lactose, crustaceans, and etc. Commercially added like pesticides, food coloring, or food additives. It could be also unintentionally added like motor oils, soaps, and detergents. And again, how do we control this? Firstly, you need to check prior receiving of your raw materials, food ingredients, packaging materials. And upon receiving of these materials, you also need to be aware during processing, during the storage, during the use of the sanitizer, cleaning agents, lubricants, or prior to the shipment of your finished product. And lastly, the third one is a physical hazard. For example, your nail broke and mixed with the food, your hair, and your wedding ring. The potential physical hazards could be from contaminated raw or packaging materials coming from a dirty packaging or it could be the pests such as rodents, flies, lizards and cockroaches. What if the light bulb breaks and falls directly into the productions? It could happen, right? So how do we prevent these physical hazards? Similar to the preventive measures that I mentioned just now, if you did pay attention, we can prevent this by implementing good manufacturing practices and again, identify the types and the source of physical hazards as well as the critical control point. Train your employees in good hygiene practices or you can obtain the letter of guarantee Certificates of Analysis, also known as a COA from the suppliers. In conclusion, these are the common food hazards that could affect your company reputations. If you are facing a similar issue, please feel free to drop us a message.